This is Pioneer's DMH WT 7600 NEX. This is a floating screen HD radio receiver with a 9 inch high definition LED capacitive glass touchscreen. The DMH WT 7600 NEX works with Apple CarPlay when connected to a compatible iPhone with a wireless connection or a wired connection through USB. The DMH WT 7600 NEX works with Android Auto Wireless when connected to a compatible Android phone with a wireless connection or a wired connection through USB. The DMH WT 7600 NEX also works with Amazon Alexa with a wireless connection to your compatible phone or a Wi Fi hotspot. The DMH WT 7600 NEX has three sets of RCA outputs for operating external amplifiers and is backup camera ready and Sirius XM ready. The USB-C port can be used to connect your phone and playback high resolution audio music files and high definition videos. The system features built-in Bluetooth for both hands-free calling and wireless streaming audio. Let's take a look and see what's in the box. You can see this is a huge box for a car stereo system. Let's pop this thing open and we will start off with the uh, the wire harness. We'll use the wire harness here to connect power and ground and speakers and all of the electrical connections from the in-dash receiver over to the vehicle. Next up, we have a handful of install screws here. Now these aren't just the normal install screws, you also have screws here for mounting the screen to the one DIN um, chassis that goes in the dash. So keep an eye on these screws, you're gonna need them. Uh, let's see, next up we have the Bluetooth microphone. Here's the Bluetooth microphone. This is commonly installed in the headliner up near the driver, but it comes on a wire about 10 feet long or so for a uh, very flexible installation. Then we have the wireless remote control. There's the wireless remote control included in, uh, in the box. And we have the uh, USB extension. Now this is a USB-C extension and the USB-C port is on the back of this in-dash receiver. So we include the USB-C extension in the box. Uh, and you also have a USB-A to USB-C adapter included in the box here as well. All right. Let's pull out, uh, here are the mounting brackets. It's a very heavy mounting bracket um, that will attach to the one in chassis that goes in the dash and to the screen. So this is the bracket that holds the screen very firmly. Uh, let's see, we have the GPS antenna. Of course, using Android Auto Wireless and Apple CarPlay Wireless, you need a, a, a GPS antenna for proper operation there. And we have the input and output wire harness here. And I'll give you a careful look at this input and output wire harness a little bit later in the video. All right, next up, we have the, uh, the quick start guide here. There's the quick start guide. And please remember that you can download a complete copy of, of the owner's manual for this product in PDF form right onto your phone from pioneerelectronics.com. And the last thing we have here is the warranty card. There's the warranty card. So let's pop this open. And there's two things inside here. First thing is, here's the one DIN chassis. And we'll give you a better look at this thing uh, in just a moment after I get all the packaging off. There's the one DIN chassis that'll go in the dash. We'll put that down. And we have the uh, nine inch screen with uh, capacitive glass. We'll give you a careful look at this thing here in just a moment as well. The DMH WT7600 NEX is a one DIN receiver with a nine inch floating screen. The Pioneer DMH WT7600 NEX can be installed in nearly any vehicle that has a one DIN opening or larger with the use of readily available dash installation kits made to fit your particular vehicle's dash opening. A heavy duty mounting bracket holds the screen securely to the one DIN receiver sized control unit the screen has many different installation options. It can be adjusted forward or back, right, center, and left, and higher or lower to suit many different vehicle dash configurations and layouts. 
The screen can be angled up to 75 degrees for glare-free viewing from the driver's position. The screen connects to the control unit with one simple cable. The front panel of the Pioneer DMHWT 7600 Nex has a simple layout. All of the control buttons are built into the 9-inch high-definition capacitive glass touchscreen right here. The volume control is here. And the home key is here. This is the voice activation key. The capacitive glass touchscreen is high definition, 1280 by 720 resolution, and measures 10 inches diagonal with a 9 inch video playback area. The live screen widgets are automatically updated when the system has a Wi Fi connection. The screen layout can be uniquely configured by different users, and the system will identify users and automatically adjust the screen layout. The DMHWT7600 Nex is an audio video digital media receiver and does not have a CD or DVD player. Alexa, how far is it around the Earth? According to an Alexa Answers contributor, the circumference of the Earth is 24,901 miles. Alexa, Play Beethoven Symphony No. 5, Allegro con Brio. Here's Beethoven, Symphony No. 5 in C minor, Opus 67, I Allegro con Brio, by Wiener Philharmoniker, Carlos Kleiber and Ludwig van Beethoven, on Amazon Music. Alexa, call Felonius. Calling Felonius. The back panel of the DMHWT7600 Nex starts off with the GPS antenna input right here. This blackjack can be used to operate your steering wheel controls through an optional third party adapter. This jack is for the Bluetooth microphone included with the in-dash receiver. The microphone is used for making hands-free phone calls and other voice commands. You'll use this port for the optional SXV300 tuner available from Sirius XM. The optional iDatalink Maestro RR OEM integration unit will plug in right here. This port also can be used for the optional Metra Access OEM integration unit. Here is the USB-C port that can be used for Android Auto or Apple CarPlay. The USB-C port can also be used for high-res audio music, high-definition videos, and still images through a USB flash drive. And remember, we include a USB extension in the box to bring that USB port up into the passenger compartment of your vehicle. And also included in the box is a USB-C to USB-A adapter. And this is where you'll plug in the power and ground wire harness connected to the vehicle. The Pioneer DMHWT7600 Nex has a built-in amplifier that is designed to operate with up to four speakers in the vehicle. On the other side, we start off with the micro HDMI input right here. The AM FM and HD radio antenna from the vehicle will plug in right here. And the white port here is for the input-output wire harness. Let's take a closer look at that input-output wire harness. On the input-output wire harness, there are three sets of RCA outputs for operating external amplifiers. They are 4-volt RCA outputs. They can be set up in standard mode for front, rear, and subwoofer output, or for more control and better sound quality, network mode, with high, mid, and low outputs. The brown jack here is the dedicated backup camera input. The DMHWT7600 Nex is designed to operate with the optional NDBC8 backup camera from Pioneer. The auxiliary input here can be used for both video and audio input. Next, there are two yellow RCAs. The first yellow RCA is the rear monitor output. The second yellow RCA is the second camera input. 
And finally, the external mute is here. And that is Pioneer's DMH-WT-7600-NEX. And what's in the box?